This is a video on modifying Steve Cousins Z180 board to work with the Bus Raider. The challenge with Steve Cousins Z180 is that the clock is generated on the board itself. So we turn the board over and have a look at where the clock pin comes from the bus normally. I'm just going to point to it now. It's, so if you look where the P is in Stephen and then you can navigate to the pin on the bottom row. So that's actually where the clock comes off the bus. On the Z180 board, it's actually driven, that line is driven by uh, the clock output, the, the PHY I think it's called, output on the Z180 chip. So what we need to do is change that. So we'll just sound out where that goes and where that trace is so that we can work out where to cut. I'm just finding the pin on the chip itself, the carrier, and you can see here that we've got a connection there. So that defines really where we're going to have to cut a track and just take a, a scalpel to it following that track upwards from the pin that I identified previously which is just below the, the P. So what we're going to do is cut across this track and then once we've made a deep enough cut to definitely go through the copper I'm just going to lift off that piece of, of copper track, which is a slightly fiddly operation, but hopefully that's done it. And we'll just check that that is the case and that we've actually got that track cut now. So we'll just sound out those two pins again and just make sure that, that I definitely cut that track. Okay, no sound, so I guess must be okay. So now we're going to use this kind of uh, thin enameled copper wire to just make a connection. Um, so I'll just do the first um, end of it to start off with, which is from the bus. Uh, so the pin, the same pin that we've uh, just cut the track from. Um, and this type of enamel copper wire, uh, you can melt the enamel on it pretty easily with a soldering iron at uh, about 300 centigrade 320 maybe and so I'm just doing that now uh, just melting the enamel on one end this is a an approach I tend to use for quick fixes on on PCBs and when I'm prototyping it tends to be quite quick um, to make connections and, and rearrange them as you need so we'll just attach it to that pin, which is, as I said, directly below the P in Stephen uh, for navigation on the bottom row. Um, and now we'll just try and work out where to connect it to. So I'm just going to find the clock input to the Z80, the Z180, and there it is there. Um, so, um, so that's the pin that we're looking for um, and now I'm just going to cut the uh, the wire to length and we'll um, now connect the wire up to uh, which the, what actually is the output of a crystal on uh, Steve Cousins' board. So, uh, tinning the end of the copper wire again, just removing that bit of enamel. And then we'll connect that one up. And that's it. So now we'll move into testing and we'll uh, test it out at different clock frequencies um, and make sure that it's, uh, it's firstly working and uh, we'll see how fast we can go with the Z180. So I'm just going to use the TRS-80 emulation on the bus raider with level 1 ROM and Galaxy Invasion 
and this is running at the regular 1.77 megahertz clock speed of um, a TRS-80. So uh, you can see the um, banner around the display is going fairly slowly um, and now let's try and bump the clock speed up and just see where we can get to. The chip is actually rated at 33 megahertz so let's go there to start off with. Um, each time I let the mouse off the uh, the, the spinner, um, it's going to increase. I'm going to try that uh, that speed out. So um, here we're running at 33 megahertz, and we can see the game is essentially unplayable. I think it's fair to say. So now let's uh, see if we can get the game to go at a higher speed. So we'll run Galaxy Invasion again. And then we'll just start bumping the clock up and see how far we can go. Um, so going past 40 megahertz. And then uh, we'll go up as high as... oh. Uh, looks like I've put a limit of 50 megahertz in the user interface. So let's just see what it's like at that speed. Pretty crazy. Um, maybe you'd like to give it a go and see how fast you can get a Z180 to run. Do let me know how you get on. Thanks very much.